back to my channel. For today's video, we're going to be talking about the Best of Beauty 2017. Some of these products have been new releases for 2017. Some of them are products that I've tried for the very first time in 2017. We're going to be doing this video in two parts. There's going to be a Best of Beauty Makeup Edition and a Best of Beauty Skincare Edition. So make sure you are subscribed for both videos. For today's video, we're going to be talking about makeup. So let's go ahead and do I'm going to start with everything in the order in which we would apply makeup. So the first product that I'm going to mention is this primer. And this is from Rimmel London. It's their Stay Matte Primer. And I absolutely love this primer. This primer is super affordable from the drugstore. It's very mattifying, gives like a blurring effect to your face before applying your makeup. I've tried this in the summertime as well and it holds up really well. My makeup lasts without my face turning into an oil bucket, even though it eventually gets there. This makes my makeup hold out for a little bit longer than it normally does. Next product is my brow pencil and this has become my favorite brow product of all time. And this is the Revlon Colorstay Brow Pencil. It has a spoolie on one end and then the pencil on the other end. And this pencil is my entire life, you guys. Like, I use this to do my brow all the time. I have a brow tutorial using this pencil. I'm going to leave that in the description box so you guys can check that out if you want to. But using this pencil, I don't even have to clean my brow up with concealer if I don't want to. It's that precise. This pencil is really, really, really amazing. I absolutely love this. Highly recommend it. And it's only, I think, $6.99. And I will link all of the products in the description box as well. Another eye pencil that I have been obsessing over is this Maybelline Master precise liner and do you see how skinny this pencil is it is exactly what the name says it is precise moving on to mascaras my og mascara is the maybelline great lash mascara to me that mascara can do no wrong it's absolutely bomb it's waterproof gives you great volume and great length but this year l'oreal came out with their new lash paradise mascara which i wanted to try and one thing i can say about it is that it is a perfect dupe for the Too faced better than sex mascara if you look at this wand you can see it looks almost identical to the Too faced wand but this mascara guys gives you great length and great volume it doesn't do anything that my great lash mascara doesn't do so i guess it's basically the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara in a different bottle, my opinion. But since I do have my Maybelline Great Lash Mascara in my makeup bag that I take with me on the go, I leave this on my vanity so I have one at home and one in my makeup bag. Another mascara that I have been obsessing over is this Maybelline Falsies Push Up Mascara. And the reason I love this is because it has a very nice brush. That brush is so tiny and I think that brush is perfect for like the lower lash line. If you're like me and you have smaller eyes, whenever one of these like larger brushes get too close to my eye, I start blinking and then my lashes catch the brush and it messes up my makeup. So I'm not a fan of that. I like this smaller brush because it gets right into my lower lash line and I don't really have a lot of lower lashes, but whatever I do have, this tends to pull it out. I could go on and on about the makeup brushes that I have and 90% of my makeup brushes are from the drugstore but there are two brushes this year that I started using that I am obsessing over and one of them is the Wet n Wild blending brush okay I know this brush is dirty because I just used it but yeah take your focus off of that this brush is bomb you guys it is so so soft it blends up really really nicely and I would highly recommend this to anybody I got this at a Dollar Tree for a dollar and again this is the wet n wild blending brush I'm not saying that all of wet n wild brushes are great because I've tried some that are not so great but this one in particular is amazing another makeup brush that I have been obsessing over is the elf ultimate blending brush and again I just used this wait let me show you guys the cleaner one but yeah I have two of them I have two of them so you know this is bomb okay I absolutely love this brush if I can do my entire face with one brush this will be my brush of choice this brush can blend anything for me 
gives you a flawless finish and it's really dense gives you a nice finish on your foundation moving on to eyeshadows i've recently mentioned this eyeshadow in another video and this is the huda beauty warm browns palette and this is a palette that i used to create this entire look today and these are the colors in the palette this palette is so beautiful it's a perfect traveling palette it's small and it has the essential colors I recently went on like a little mini getaway, a weekend getaway, and this is the only palette that I brought with me and I was not bored at all with my makeup looks. It's super versatile, you can create a number of makeup looks with this palette, so this is a great travel palette and it's only like $27 super 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 pigmented so this is a great investment another eyeshadow palette that i have been loving is this jcat beauty santa monica palette now this palette has some beautiful colors and the colors that caught my eye were these green colors you have 12 matte shades and 12 shimmer shades at the top and this green here this forest green and the army green over here are the two shades that caught my eyes so I have been using this palette non-stop since I got it and this palette is only $17.99 absolutely love this moving on to foundation the foundation that I think has been all over YouTube recently is the LA colors truly matte foundation and I also did a review on this foundation so if you want to go check that out I'll leave that in the description as well but this foundation guys is bomb amazing coverage there are a few flaws with the foundation shade range wise and the fact that this is not in stores at least i wasn't able to find it in any of the stores that i went to so if they improve the shade range and put these in store this stands to be one of their number one sellers no shade to la girl no shade to morphe because i do use their other products but these setting powders were not doing it for me okay these left me looking ashy and I had flashbacks and everything so I had to put those down and I kind of gave up on setting powders after that but when I tell you guys this JCAT Beauty Luxe Pro powder has been amazing it's been amazing this powder locks your makeup in place it gives you absolutely no flashback flawless finish I absolutely love this powder the only thing I'm not a fan of is the top right here because it makes it difficult for the powder to get out but what I do is I have this little jar here that I just pour some of the powder into and that solves all my problems next up is this black radiance cream contour palette I absolutely love 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 this palette not only because it has an amazing contour shade and you can see that I've used this contour shade because I'm almost hitting pan but this highlight shade guys is bomb I'm just going to swatch this for you guys so y'all can see super pigmented and it's giving me bronze goddess vibes so so pretty I love this especially in the summertime speaking of highlights another product that I have been obsessing with is this physicians formula sunset bronzing strips and it looks a little bit beat up because I use this a lot. If you've seen any of my makeup tutorials, then you've definitely seen me use this palette. But it has one, two, three, four, five strips in here. And it's there's a highlight strip for anything. These shades are so, so beautiful. And I usually just take my highlighting brush and go over all the shades. I never use one single shade. Absolutely love this. It's super pigmented. It's exactly what I have on my face right now. So I absolutely love it. Moving on to the lips, my first obsession for this year has been the Huda Beauty Contour Kit. And this one has two lip colors, Famous and Vixen. And it comes with a lip pencil, Vixen. Absolutely love this, exactly what I have on my lips right now. The colors are so beautiful and so, so pigmented and long wearing because I did film a video before this, I ate and i did not touch up my lips at all and the color is still on i uh, absolutely love this it's not drying at all very comfortable on the lips another lipstick that i have been in love with are these morphe lipsticks these are so so pretty you guys only shows two shades from morphe because all the other shades they had on their site i already had something similar to those but these two are the only ones that i didn't have anything looking like this 
so this one is in the shade suspect and this one is in homecoming and it's just a really pretty hot pink this is super pretty when you wear it and then this shade suspect is just like a pinky nude shade they're so so comfortable on the lips very pigmented i highly recommend these these are only 12 bucks they are long lasting and they're not drying at all so that is it for my best of beauty makeup video you guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a big thumbs up leave me your favorite makeup product for 2017 in the comments section all my social media handles are in the description box be sure you're following me on all my accounts and subscribe if you haven't and i will catch you guys next time